Right, question four. Question four is a tax question, right? And this is a question that students often struggle with. So if it is something you struggle with, really check in and make sure that you understand what I'm doing. It says Mr. Lowe, age 53. Now remember, it's important with tax to know how old the taxpayer is because you get different rebates, right? Based on your age. What's a rebate? A rebate is a um, basically an amount that they give you back, right? So it reduces the amount of tax that you pay, okay? So then it says, earned an annual taxable income of this much. Okay, so that's how much he earns, right, for the year ending 28 February 2020. Now, you could be saying, oh, why is it such a weird year? Remember, tax years run from the beginning of March, right, in one year to the end of February the next year. And that's why they're using this date, yeah? So it's not just weird. He does not contribute to medical aid. Fantastic. So we don't even have to think about medical aid because we know if you've done questions like this before, then medical aid has a tax credit, which also reduces the amount of tax you pay. But we're not going to have to think about that yet, which is fantastic. So then let's look at the first question. It says, use the above information to answer the questions that follow. The following formula can be used to calculate annual tax payable before the rebate. So we're not looking at rebates. We're just saying, what would he pay in tax if there were no rebates? Now, they've been very kind in that they've actually given you the formula. Generally, they don't give you a formula here yeah? and you have to go and look it up in a tax table. If you're like, ooh, what does that mean? Well, go to my playlists and go and search tax and other tax questions from previous years will come up and look through those. Okay, so here, yeah, quite simple because they've given us the whole formula, right? All we need to do is go plug in his annual tax taxable income, which they've given us over here, and we're done. Okay, so not a difficult thing to do, right? So I'm just going to, sorry, I did write this out. Um... So we just literally plug in. So 115762, this is all from this formula here, right? You plug that in. A very important thing here, right? And this is how, um, what students get incorrect, is please take note of the brackets, right? There's a bracket there, which which um, I'm just going to show you. That bracket there is matched with that bracket there. Remember, brackets always have to have partners, right? They don't stand alone, okay? So then, oh, this highlight is rolling everywhere. Um, this bracket goes with that bracket. Now, when you type it into your calculator, make sure that you type those brackets incorrectly. Students always don't close this bracket here, right? So please be careful when you type that in. And that is basically how much tax he will pay over the year, right? Ending 28 February, 2022, right? Without any rebates. So without any reductions, okay? So that's fine, done. Right, let's look at 4.1.2. It says, Mr. Lowe feels that the monthly tax payable is an easier option for him to calculate his monthly tax payable. Okay, so he basically wants to use this table instead of doing all the calculations. Okay, so this table below here shows the monthly deduction for three income categories for the year ending. So basically, in this, it gives different amounts per month, okay, that you earn. These are your income brackets. And then it says, based on your age, this is how much tax you're going to pay, right? So tax payable, this is after your rebates. Okay, and that's quite important. It's after your rebate. So it's basically saying, we've taken your rebates into consideration and this is what you pay to SARS, right? SARS is the revenue, the tax collecting service in South Africa. We know that our Mr. Lowe, right, the person we're talking about, is going to sit in this category over here um, because he's 53. Okay, so he's under the age of 65. So he's going to sit over there. And that's that's quite useful. So we're not really caring about that side because he's not it's not relevant. Okay. So then it says the monthly rebate for a person younger than 65 years old is 1368,75. Verify showing all calculations whether his monthly tax will be correct according to the monthly deduction table. So they're saying use what you calculated in 4.1.1 and calculate what his tax payable would be given that you have the rebate over here. So we'll do that calculation and then compare it to what it would be from this monthly tax table and see if those two things are the same. Because that's effectively what he's saying. He's saying, I wanna use this table. I don't wanna do all those calculations. So let's see if it's the same, okay? So first thing you do is you say, okay, the amount of tax that I said he was going to pay, right? At the beginning, um, oh, sorry, at the end of this tax year, I'm gonna divide it by 12 because this is per year, right? For the year, this is for the month. So this is how much he's going to pay each month. But we now need to take the rebate off that because that was before the rebate. So we need to say 9853.8933. Remember, I'm not rounding anything off yet, right? This isn't rounds. I'm not rounding it off yet because I'm not done. I'm not at my end point. How much does he get in a rebate each month? 
can get 1368,75. So we're going to write that 1368.75. And we're just going to write that down. Um, and we're going to do the calculation. Make sure you're putting in your calculator correctly. So yeah, this is now our final answer, right? For what he would pay if we did the calculating method. So that's what he would pay. Okay, so that's how much he would pay if we did the calculation method. Okay, now we need to figure out which one of these three amounts, one, two, three, which one of them is he actually going to pay if we use the table, right? If, well, if we use the table, we have to figure out which one of these brackets he's in. How do we figure out which brackets he's in? Well, it says monthly income. So we just have to take this amount here and divide it by 12, and that will give, him, give us his monthly income, and then we'll know which one of those three amounts he'll pay. Okay, so we're going to say... 495602, that's his annual income. And we're going to divide it by 12. Okay, so 495602. Oh, goodness, I keep doing that. 602 divided by 12, right? And it is 41300.16667. Okay, so if he's earning that much, where would he sit? It's not there. It's not there. He's there. Okay. So according to that, he would pay 8491, right? So he would pay 8491. Um, uh, that would be his tax payable, tax payable per month. Okay, that's according to the table, right? Now we have to compare that amount to that amount, right? And so it says, is the tax table will so says so verify showing all calculations whether his monthly tax will be correct according to the monthly deduction table, right? So actually it's not because we did the calculation, right? And we can see that it's not, right? So we say therefore it's not correct. Okay, it's not correct. And this is quite important because students often do the calculations and they don't give a conclusion. You have to give a conclusion. It's really important. Okay. So they're not the same. Yes, they're very close. And you'd be right in saying they are close, but they're not the same. Okay. So this is the accurate one because that's the calculation one. This is just from the table where someone's done like an average calculation, right? So someone else has done the calculation for Mr. Lowe. So actually it's more accurate to do the calculation himself. Okay, so that was a little bit of a tricky um, question because it wasn't always obvious what was asked, but I'm hoping that this gave a little bit of clarity. Let's, let's now look at the last question for this video. Write down the probability of selecting a monthly tax amount of 8473 for a person over the age of 75 from this monthly tax table. So here is the 8473. But it's only for people under the age of 65 right? It's not for people over the age of 75. So actually the probability of getting 8473 and being over 75 is zero. It's impossible. You can't get it, right? If you're over 75, this is what you get, one of those three. But you can't get, eight, get 8473 unless you're under 65. So your answer there is zero. Okay, so a little bit of a trick question, but I hope you understand the logic there. Okay, that's us done for this video. Let's move on to the next part of question four.